Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be showing how to consume API in your Angular app. There is, I have created this API with Node and Express. I have video on it. I'll leave link in the description box. The, if you will be creating your API with Node and Express, we will need to set up the in router use headers to be able to call it from this address localhost on port 4201 on which I will be running my Angular app as well as set up method, methods and headers. So I have this API running locally and I can make a request and get workouts. So now we'll be we'll we'll be calling this URL from my Angular app. So created Angular uh, empty Angular app with Angular CLI command. I have video of how to do it. I'll also leave link in the description box. So have it running and. Let's get started. First, we will need to create a service. So we will need to stop it. And to create a service, we will be using Angular CLI with command ng generate service. And service name. Let's call it workouts. Right, so we have service created. Let's start up again. So we created service, and that the next thing we started our application, we will have we will see changes here. So we'll need go to app module and import HTTP client module from And include in our imports. Again. Done with this part. Next, let's go to our service and in our service, we'll need to import HTTP client from go common HTTP and add it to our constructor Next, we will create variable for our 
URL. Choose whenever the API is running, I have HTTP localhost. Port three thousand apply workout script Double check. Next, we will create a method to get workouts. from API so get work workouts so we'll return observable response the response it will be our mod model uh, model I will create later to store our response pro from API in my case it looks like this JSON it has message and workouts so for me this observable import was automatically added so this method will return This HTTP is get call response and provide URL to different. So that's it. Let's now create. model for response I just call this workout but doesn't matter so we'll have here class for response so it will have message string and it will have work out which will be work string of workout uh, array of workout so for, for workout we'll create another class which will have basically matches here what I have in JSON message workouts and that workouts it has ID type duration date so we have ID which is number then I have type string then I have duration string and date do it as string also oops so now we need to import Response workout will be better. Yeah. 
and your name is here response workout more descriptive so you need to port it response to our component and just call it so we'll create workout variable which is workout workout array it holds workouts from response So we need to import it. Then we'll create a constructor to use our service. and create method get workouts service method get workouts and subscribe to response so whatever we get get response so then we Sign our private or uh, public basically workouts from this response we'll just get workouts which is this part workouts so and now we need to make a call somehow so we will just implement on init and then and you only need we will get workouts so then we can just display workouts so we'll use ng4 directive since it's array workouts is an array so ng4 Let work out of workouts. Workouts is our response here. Workouts, and we'll create list. We 
need the type of workout to be workout type and do this for just copy it twice and do workout duration two minutes and then workout date So workout do so workout date workout duration say it let's go to our browser see if it worked oops do something else let's see our console don't see there anything Let's go investigate. Workout time and let's go back. And now it works. So we got response and we display response from API. That's it for this short tutorial. Thanks for watching, leave me comments, like, subscribe and see you in my next video. Bye!